Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Saturday. It is Saturday, March 19th, starting off today with Lauren Daigle's um, song, Salt and Light, which will um, connect in, at least partially, with our message today. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's from her How Can It Be album. So, um, good morning. It's good to be with you today. Today we are finishing... Uh, chapter 9 of Mark. We'll be moving in next week uh, to the 10th chapter. There's only a few more left. Uh, well, a little more than a few. But uh, looking forward to continuing this journey with all of you. So it's good to be with you this morning. So uh, let me say good morning to you. Good morning, Barbara. It's good to have you here holding you in prayer today. 
and Andrea, welcome. Praying for you as we start this day. Good morning, Daniel. I'm glad you're here. I'm holding you in prayer. And Minda, welcome, welcome. It's good to have you here too. Praying for you as we start this day. Good morning, Angelo. I'm glad you're with us this morning. Praying for you and Marianne. It's good to see you. Praying for you as we start this day. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome. Praying for you today. And Michelle, I'm glad you're here too. Holding you in prayer as we start this day. Good morning, Janet. It's good to have you here. And Debbie, uh, I'm glad you're here as well. Holding you both in prayer. Good morning, Susan. Uh, I'm glad you're here today. Praying for you and Georgiana. Uh, praying for you this morning. And good morning, Augusta. I'm glad you're with us as well. Holding you in prayer, holding all of you in prayer. Praying for you as we start this day. So, um, today we are looking at Mark 9, beginning in verse 42. Now, this is some rough territory. I'm just letting you know. Um, but we're going we're gonna to talk about how, what does the scripture mean? What is God trying to, what is Jesus trying to tell um, the people that are listening to what he's saying, which are the disciples at this point? And what is God trying to say to us this morning? So if you want to turn to Mark 9, beginning in verse 42, that's where I will start. Um, good morning, Priscilla. It's good to have you here this morning. Um, so as you're turning there, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I am blessed to serve as the pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. And we are on the corner uh, of... Our, our building is on the corner of George and Liberty Street, but our our church family is throughout New Jersey, um, and especially in, in New Brunswick. So that is where God has placed us to be in ministry. So I'm glad you found us today. Uh, let's get started uh, on verse 42 of chapter 9. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of the, these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great millstone were hung around your neck and you were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life maimed than to have two hands and to go to hell to the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to stumble, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame than to have two feet and to be thrown into hell. And if your eye causes you to stumble, tear it out. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and to be thrown into hell. Where their worms never die and the fire is never quenched. For everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt is has lost its saltiness, how can you season it? Have salt in yourselves and be at peace with one another. Okay, so we've got fire and we've got salt and we've got a whole lot of maiming going on. So what is Jesus talking about here? So when you read the scripture, when you read the gospel from beginning to end, you'll notice the things that are happening in the beginning aren't necessarily happening in the middle or the end, right? Because we're, we're taking, we're, we're going the progression through Jesus's life. 
And what is happening here in Mark 9 is there's a definite turning point. Jesus is knows that time is short and he needs his disciples to understand and to get it. Because if you recall, they've been missing the point. They don't quite understand. He's even told them what's going to happen. And they're still saying, we don't understand. Like, what does it mean? You're going to die and rise. And, and I, I, we're not comprehending. This does not add up for us. So Jesus is getting very insistent. Now, what is salt and what is fire? Especially the line. I think the line that I think or the verse that I think is very interesting is, for everyone will be salted with fire. What is Jesus saying here? Well, he is, uh, I'm, and, and I'm not saying that you can always do this, but for today, the purpose of today, what if you, tra what if you change the word salt to grace, okay? Now, salt is that which preserves Salt is that which gives life, right? If you, if you salt your food, then it actually brings out the flavor, makes it even more, um, I mean, not always, okay, but it's supposed to, if salt does what it's supposed to do, it's supposed to help bring out the flavor. If you put too much salt, it will be too, too salty. But salt brings out life, salt preserves. And what is fire? Well, part of what Jesus is talking here, especially in the verse about salting with fire, he's talking about purifying, that which purifies and brings back the things that you don't need go away, right? The things uh, to be purified is to be made... Um, what you were intended to be. So he's going through and he's saying all these things about stumbling. What are the things that cause us to stumble? Now, I don't, I don't think Jesus wants us cutting off our hands or cutting off our feet or plucking out our eyes. But what are the things that cause us to stumble? You know, if, if I struggle with addictions, then it's probably not a good thing for me to go with my coworkers to the bar that night because I am, it's, it's like, it's asking me to stumble. If I know that my stumbling places are very clear, then, then Jesus is saying, stop doing the things you keep doing. They will not bring you life. You have to stop going to those places. And sometimes those places are the things that we tell ourselves over and over. If I keep telling myself that I am unworthy, I'm not good enough, I'm not loved, da 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 da, da and I just keep doing it, then I am not allowing the salt, the grace of Jesus to work in and through my life. I have to do something different. And I love that line from Lauren Daigle's song, um, song this morning. Let my life be a song revealing who you are. Let my life be a song revealing who you are. If we are going to live the life that God has given us, if we are to follow Jesus and live the way that Jesus lived, it must be revealed out. It will be revealed out to others. But we've got to stop the places, stop going to the places that don't bring life. So if I know that my self-talk is really bad, one of the things I can do is put post-its up to remind me that I'm loved, that I'm worthy, that I'm a beloved child of God, that God has given me all the strength and the grace that I need. Put post-its up on the mirror, in your bathroom, on your fridge, wherever you're gonna see them, day after day, because in order for us to live into that grace, 
We've got to stop doing the things that we were doing before. And God gives us that grace. But it's one thing to say, yes, grace. This is what Jesus is complaining. You're saying you've received this, but nothing has changed. In order for a grace to change us, we have to stop going back to those old places. They do not bring life. They will not, um, they will not allow the grace to work, to preserve, to give life to us. That's what I'm hearing in today's scripture. Don't go out and pluck your eye out. But if your eye keeps leading you to places that are not healthy, then don't go to those places. If social media is your issue, you can watch this on YouTube later. If, if, if your big challenge is around, I, I mean, I, we all have our own challenges, but we cannot keep going back to those stumbling places. And what Jesus is very clear about is we are not to allow anyone, if something we are doing is causing our brother or sister or these little ones to stumble, then that's definitely off of what Jesus wants us to do. Not only are we, and maybe sometimes we're the ones that Jesus is talking about, Jesus doesn't want any of us to stumble. But we can't keep going back to those places. So two questions. What is the place that you keep going to where you stumble again and again? And the second thing is, today, will you allow the grace of God to lead you into life-giving ways, away from the death dealing, away from the places that lead us into torment, which is what hell is, into torment. What are the places and will you allow God's grace to enter in fully into you today so that your life may be a song revealing who Jesus is. Let us pray. God, we come before you today acknowledging that too often we have stumbled and stumbled and stumbled right back into old patterns, right back into places that are not life-giving, right back into ways of thinking about ourselves and the ways of interacting with one another that are not life-giving. They are not filled with your grace. They do not bring life. Forgive us, Lord, and lead us this day, not to the places we've been, but to that place where you offer us the gift of grace. Grace that says we are more than our past failures. We are more than the broken roads. Grace that allows us to live in new ways so that our life may become like a song that lets the world around us see you, see you more boldly, see you more courageously, see your unending grace. Lead us this day, Lord, that we might fully be who it is you've called us to be, that we may lay down our broken paths 
and follow you. We lift all of this up to you, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So today, what are those places where you need to stop going? And will you let God's grace work more powerfully in your heart, leading you to places of life? this day. God loves you, my friends. God loves you. And so do I. Uh, tomorrow in church, I want to invite you. Uh, we've got uh, the choir's going to be singing tomorrow. Uh, we have some more testimony that's going to be shared tomorrow in worship. And we're going to be talking about what does it mean to choose Jesus? What does it mean for our walks to choose Jesus? Um, so I look forward to being with all of you tomorrow at 11 uh, for worship. And I'll see you back here on Monday uh, for prayer and devotion at 630. So uh, have a very blessed day, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow in worship.